For these two theorems, it's important to realize that we're still working with our right triangle that has an altitude that drops down to the hypotenuse. What this first theorem we have here is theorem 7.6, the geometric mean theorem tells us, is that the length of the altitude is the geometric mean of the lengths of the two segments of the hypotenuse. So if we label this A, B, C, and D, we see that BD is the geometric mean of AD and DC. This means that BD, that value squared, is going to equal AD multiplied by DC. So really take a moment, look at this, look at this nice little T shape we get. This upside down T, we see that the base of this T squared equals the two sides of the T multiplied together. For example, if I told you that my two parts were, let's say, hmm, let me think of the numbers real quick. Perhaps I have 12 here, and we'll say that the altitude is actually 18. Then what is the length of AD? We find that BD squared, so 18 squared, is going to equal 12x. 18 squared is 324. 324 divided by 12 gives us 27. So AD, which is the value of x, is 27. Okay, this brings us to our next theorem, theorem 7.7, .7, the geometric mean or leg theorem. All right, this one's a little bit trickier. This, again, we are dealing with a right triangle with an altitude that drops to the hypotenuse. What the geometric mean leg theorem tells us is that in this right triangle, the length of each leg of the right triangle, so let's look at one leg at a time, is the geometric mean of the lengths of the hypotenuse and the segments of the hypotenuse that is adjacent. to the leg. So if we're looking at this left leg, then this left leg is the geometric mean of the entire hypotenuse plus the part of the hypotenuse that is closest to this leg. So let's put some letters on here. We get A, B, C, D. We find that A, B, A, B squared, there we go, is going to equal the entire hypotenuse times the part of the hypotenuse that is closest to the leg we're using. So AB squared equals AC times AD. Now this works, we have two legs, so this works in two kind of ways. Let's now look at the other leg. We drop an altitude, there we go. we're looking at this leg, that leg is the geometric mean of the entire hypotenuse plus the part of the hypotenuse that is closest to the leg. We get that BC BC squared equals the entire hypotenuse AC times the part of the hypotenuse that's closest, CD or DC, doesn't really matter. Okay. If you feel comfortable with these two theorems, we'll go on to example two.